today we're going to learn how to solve for a parabola using three points. So in this example problem, we're going to find the equation of the parabola when given negative 2, 40, 1, 7, and 3, 15. So when I see this problem, the first thing that I would recommend doing is plugging in, in to the general equation of a parabola, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? So in these three coordinate pairs, we know the x, the first number of the uh, coordinate pair, and we know the y, the second number in the coordinate pair. We don't know a, b, or c, which is what we're going to solve for using matrices later on. So the first one, let's plug in stuff. y is going to be 40. 40 equals a times x, negative 2 squared, plus b times negative 2 plus c. Now let's simplify that out. 40 equals, that's going to be 4a minus 2b plus c. So that's going to be our first uh, equation in the matrix. Our second one, use this coordinate pair. 7 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1, one plus c. And that's going to be 7 equals a plus b plus c. And our third equation, using this coordinate pair, y is going to be 15 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. We're going to simplify that. 15 equals 9a plus 3b plus c. So here are our three equations. Let me just erase this. Make more room. So. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a matrix with the coefficients of these of these equations and we're solve, we're going to have another matrix but we're going to multiply it times this matrix. This sounds a little bit confusing at first, but don't worry, it's going to all be okay. So, we use the coefficients of the equations. We don't use the exact equations. So here the coefficients are 4, negative 2 and 1. And then the coefficients for this equation are 1, 1, and 1. Coefficients here are 9, 3, and 1. Now you notice, anytime there isn't a coefficient, like in the case of c in all these equations, you just put 1, because it's like saying 1c, right? Now, now that we have this uh, matrix, we're going to take the inverse of it, right? And then, we're going to multiply it by this matrix here. 40. 7, 15. Now, it has to be in this exact order because we, we're, it has to correspond this way. You see, this is like the same thing. You can't just have 4, negative 2, 1, 7 because that's not the way that we solve for the equations. So now, plug this into your calculator. I'll do it right now. Uh, yep. 4, negative 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 9, 3, 1, to the negative 1, times column rows 3, columns 1, 47, 15. And now, what we end up getting in our calculators is 3, negative 8, and 12. Now you're probably looking at those numbers and you're like, what? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. But really it's super easy. The first number is going to be the A. The second number is going to be the B. And the third number is going to be the C. So if we were solving for the parabola, we're just going to plug these numbers in. So Y equals 3X squared minus 8X plus 12. And see, that's how you solve for a parabola. But we can double check it by graphing it. And we should get something that has these points. Right? And that's how you solve for a parabola using three points.